Hello, my name is Troidar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Pegasus statue in Minecraft. Let's get started. Of course, a Pegasus is a, the a mythological winged horse that carried Perseus to rescue Andromeda from the Kraken while holding the head of Medusa. At least that's how it was in the Clash of the Titans movie. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build a suitably uh, impressive Pegasus statue for your own world. It's going to be uh, rather large, but uh, it's not going to be very difficult to do. The materials are really simple. We just got some copper and diorite and obsidian and a bit of glowstone here for the statue itself. And, of course, a little bit of a formal garden decoration down there below. Uh, so the materials list, as you can see, is not very large. What you will be needing for this in total is 661 blocks of diorite. 542 blocks of grass or dirt that later turns to grass, 715 blocks of cobble, 81 blocks of cut copper. Uh, I'm using the phase one cut copper here, uh, but uh, if you want to, you can you can let it age a little bit to your favorite shade of uh, cut copper. Uh, you will need 460 leaves, uh, any kind will do. Uh, I, pr I prefer oak. 67 cobblestone slabs, uh, 45 blocks of obsidian or uh, perhaps uh, blackstone or polished blackstone, even some deep slate tiles. Would work for this if you prefer to use that instead. 80 blocks of cobblestone stairs, 368 blocks of netherrack, 2 blocks of glowstone, and 169 stone of bricks. So all told, not too bad. You uh, may already have all that available. So uh, the dimensions for the statue are as follows. It is 31 blocks wide across the front here, 37 blocks long towards the back, and 35 blocks tall. Now that 35 is from uh, from this block down here all the way to the top of the horse up there. We have to dig down a little bit for this because as you can see here we have a pattern to place out with the nether rack. So but to get started if you want to you can just make a cobblestone border along the side here a 31 by 37. You can go ahead and build that up to uh, this side here if you want to as well. And make yourself a rectangle. Inside that rectangle, you want to skip a block of grass and then make a rectangle of glowstone, uh, glowstone, netherrack. Um, see here, you want to skip a block of grass and then lay down a rectangle of netherrack and then skip one, two, three, four, five blocks and lay down another rectangle of a netherrack all the way around and then skip two blocks of grass here at the front and three on the sides and then make a uh, platform here out of a uh, cobble for where our statue, the base of our statue, is going to be sitting uh, like that there. So let me let me remove these and show you at a glance from the top down the entire pattern here. So the pattern here for this is a Greek key pattern, uh, so named because the, the the little crooks in the pattern here resemble ancient keys. So uh, that is why it's called that. Indeed, the ancient Greeks would use this on all their uh, pottery, and I believe also as a design on their clothing. But you just want to uh, incise this pattern with the nether rack. You just want to make the, the first rectangle and then the inner rectangle, and then in between that, you want to make this key pattern here. This is a repeating pattern, like you see done here. It only, uh, it only changes a little bit on the corner right here or there and on the other corner we, do, we then want to turn it and do that there to start it up again and so on and so forth for the other corners. Alright, uh, now of course we're using the nether rack as uh, garden mulch so the next layer up from that on all the grass except for this little bit in the middle you want to place directly on top of the grass your uh, leaf blocks. Like you see done here it's going to be our little formal garden like that there. And of course uh, in the middle here there's just a little bit of grass uh, visible right here in the middle for our statue. And the base of the statue is of course going to be what? Seven by what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen. There, so seven by fifteen for that. Out of stone bricks, you can leave some of that hollow in the middle there if you want to save a couple of blocks of stone bricks, but it's not going to be very much. Uh, the next phase over here, we want to uh, do cobblestone stairs, uh, right side up and then upside down, directly on top of each other, 
in a rectangle all the way around the top of the stone bricks that you did. Uh, we're done with the formal garden here, by the way. It's just a very simple design that I used. This is a repeating pattern, by the way. So if you want to use this to surround other statues or buildings, you just have to either expand or contract this pattern here and place it around it. And of course, I, I really like the contrast of the red crimson nether rack with the green of the um, uh, leaf blocks and everything. I think it, it, it looks pretty nice. Um, next phase, we want to, every other block, we want to have diorite like you see done here, and then diorite in the middle of that. And then you want to extend that pattern up for a total of uh, six blocks, I believe. Right there, six blocks. All the way around, same pattern. Uh, the next phase, we want to then put on a very small cornice on top of that, like you see done here, with uh, the cobble and the cobble slabs. Just a, a straight rectangle of cobble and then some cobble slabs out here to represent some uh, small details of dentils. And then on top of that, just a straight slab of um, uh, stone bricks with uh, cobble in the middle of that. All right, uh, next phase. We're now actually beginning the horse, I think. Looks like on the, the next one after that. Looks like I double counted that one. Okay, we can go ahead and skip on to this one since it's the same one. Uh, so here we are placing the first bits of our horse. And right here is going to be the, the uh, back hooves of the horse. And up here we do have a little bit more of a platform, as you can see because we can't have our horse statue rearing up on only two legs. That's not structurally sound. So we had to uh, have the third leg resting up here on a very small little platform on top of that. And of course the, uh, the other one, the fourth one, is just uh, reared up. So in that way we have at least three points to contact, so our statue will be nice and stable. And uh, you just want to build uh, this pattern here for that. And I think you can see that this is just uh, this is just five blocks from the back there. It's not going to be very complicated. And from this point onwards, our statue, we're going to be going up at one block slices at a time. So for the rest of the horse, we're going to be 3D printing it from the bottom up, and we're going to be going at one slice at a time. So each subsequent phase I show you is going to be one block taller than the previous one, as you see here, and you can use this as a guide to help you place the next blocks. Like you can see here, we just got a couple of blocks of diorite on either side of the hooves, right here at the back. And the next phase here, we have the same detail for this that we had down here for that. You're just doing that again. Up here, we have just a little bit of cut copper. Phases one and two. And back here, we have at the back, from uh, this point here, if we count up one, two, three, and over one, that's where you want to place uh, that block of obsidian there. This, of course, corresponds to the, the flowing tail of our horse. Uh, next phase, we're finishing off just about uh, this platform here. We're doing it with the same detail as we did down here for that. Just up here, and it's going to be, uh, what, it looks like it's uh, seven by seven. Over here, we have a bit more cut copper right there and another block of obsidian right here next phase we just have some uh, cobble slabs here right there and uh, one block of uh, obsidian right there for our uh, third uh, horse hoof and of course they stabilizing our statue so we don't really need um, stabilization in Minecraft, but I like to do these things. It just makes uh, things just that much more believable. Uh, so here we have a bit of diorite there. And a bit more diorite back here. So let's, let's take a good long look at this. Uh, I think uh, for these I will place uh, half slabs directly on the blocks that you should be placing for this phase so it can be uh, nice and clear what it is that you need to do. Uh, 
right there and we will move on to the next phase so here we have our raised up a horse hoof right there directly on top of that block there just, uh, just two blocks up right there and a block of copper there and then back here uh, some of the some of the horse is going to be hollow on the inside save a couple of blocks but you can fill that in if you want to And just so you can get the shape correct, I'm going to place the half slabs directly on top of the uh, blocks you need to place in this face here. It's just a diorite, one block of copper, and uh, two blocks of obsidian back there at the back. So a next phase, a bit of uh, copper there, diorite there, and a lot more diorite here. We're now starting to build the uh, the main body of the horse right here of course if you want to use a um, nicer or more expensive material than diorite you might consider using calcite for this build instead it would look quite nice perhaps uh, some calcite and gold or something right, over here a next phase legs at the front a little bit of cobble on the inside of the body there And there we are. Those are the blocks that you need to be placing down for this phase. Mostly diorite. And a bit of obsidian at the back for the tail. Next phase, we'll start uh, with the, the front legs up here. In the middle for the core, we do have a little bit of cobble in there as filler material. And down here we have the lowest portions of some of the wings beginning to form. Right there. All right, the next phase. Facing diorite and copper in these patterns here to make the body and the wings like you see done there of course you'll notice uh, the horse is rather asymmetrical in how it's posed the, the wings on either side of the body are going to be different from each other as we go And that for that phase there. Of course, we're finished with the tail a couple of phases ago. And now we're just building the main body and the wings of our Pegasus statue. Next phase here. We have a bit more obsidian coming in to represent the main. I think we're now up to the head of the horse. Of course, the wings over here are beginning to separate from the rest of the body. It's 
So out here we do have a couple of floating blocks of diorite representing the lowest portion of the head. I re-sculpted the head several times to try and get the, the right shape in proportion to the rest of the horse. Next phase, a bit more of our horse head right here, and the wings on the side like so. Next phase here more of the horse head and of course the the flowing mane of our horse represented by the obsidian there next phase again of course i just have uh, one block of glowstone up here to represent the horse's eyes Like so. Next phase here. We have our second block of glowstone up here to light up the uh, little coronet that's on top of the horse. I wanted to give him um, sort of a little uh, crown or headdress. That's what the, the copper on the back of the mane here is for. And we're already building that here with just two blocks of copper there. And a little bit of copper and diorite on the wing tips on the side here. And in next phase again, just two more blocks of copper there. A little bit of diorite here for the wing tips. Right there. And of course on our very last phase here, we have just one block of copper. Uh, right there, and I think uh, I think we may have finished the wings. Uh, no, we have one block there, and uh, possibly I think we already placed that one. So it's just going to be those two blocks there, and uh, once you have done that, your winged Pegasus statue will be complete. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for the Pegasus statue. Remember, the world is available for download in the video description in case you need to come here and take a look at any of these phases for yourself. And as always, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.